Lazy Boy Shrinking, Episode 3. Some training updates here. It's 500 for 4, a huge PR. It was in my previous video that anybody watching has probably already seen. Really happy about this. Pretty excited about it. Um, Follow that up with three sets of four with 440, where my form was actually a little bit worse than this first set with 500. I was just really fatigued and, well, there's no excuse really, but form broke down a little bit. Still, after that PR, it was really tough to be disappointed about anything this day, so everything went really well. My weight this morning was 187.4. And that is a new low for during the week. Um, I've explained before that I just really don't have enough time to sleep and let everything settle to get an accurate weight. But that is still my lowest weigh-in during the week. My lowest weigh-in overall was actually on Sunday morning. Today's Tuesday. So on Sunday morning, it was 186.2. And that was also a refeed day. Monday morning's weigh-in was 190.2. And then Tuesday morning today, it was back down to 187.4. Expect it to probably keep dropping. Um, it might go up just a little bit and fluctuate, because it usually does. But overall, it will drop. My macros have been adjusted this week. I've dropped 10 grams of carbs, 3 grams of fat. So the new macros are 210 protein, 320 carbs, 62 fat. Nothing extreme. Just wanted to speed things a little bit. Weight loss will still be really slow and gradual. You're seeing my bench press now. I did six sets of four with 250. But on the second set, I actually got three reps, and it was just really hard. Not sure why it was the second set that was so hard. Um, probably could have gotten four. Almost definitely could have gotten four, but kind of psyched myself out and re-racked it. Every set after that, I was able to get four. So after the final set, I came back and did one extra rep to make up for that missed rep on the second set. And I just filmed the first, fourth, and sixth sets for this as well as this extra makeup set here. Before I go, I just wanted to answer some questions I'd gotten. One of them is when is the earliest I will attempt to do a show? It'll most likely be late April or early May. And how will I work around the coming holiday season? Um, I will eat with the family on Thanksgiving and Christmas, and I will do my best to keep it within my macros. There will be some estimating. Obviously, it won't be perfect, but it won't be too far off track. And since I have so much time, it won't make a huge difference. If I were two weeks out, I would have to abstain from enjoying the, act enjoying the festivities, but since I have this much time, I'm not really that worried about it. I've never been in prep during the holidays before, but the holidays for me are more about seeing family than eating only. It won't be a problem for me, I don't think. I'm not too worried about trying to avoid all the good food. One other thing that has come up, it's actually come up in Brian Nielsen's video. Um, he has a video on how to cut water weight for powerlifting meat. And he loaded water, about two and a half gallons per day, for two weeks leading up to the meat. And then on the day of weigh-ins, he cut out water completely. And since his body had gotten used to filtering out all that water, when he cut out water, it kept going. Um, and he dropped weight. Um, which makes sense. Um, and I was just going to explain why a bodybuilder wouldn't want to do that. It basically comes down to hydration of your muscle. When you drop water weight that way, you're losing it from your muscles inside your muscles and outside. 
So for somebody like Brian, he's pretty lean, but he isn't contest lean. Um, he says, and I believe him, that it makes him look a little bit more defined when he drops water weight that way. But for a stage lean bodybuilder at 3 to 5% body fat, dropping water weight is most likely just going to make that person look flat and possibly make them look less lean than before because their muscles aren't pushing against the skin as much since they're so flat. And I'm going to link an article by Lane Norton that gives a pretty thorough explanation of what happens. So hopefully these questions have helped the people who have asked them and brought up the topics. Thank you for watching this far. Please like, share, and or subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this. I'll talk to you next time.